My name is Evelyn Dietje. I'm a development economist and a public policy analyst. I've worked in and around the extractive industries for the last 15 years, mainly around resource governance issues. Now, industrial policy has a bad name from the 50s, 60s, 70s, when under systems of state-led economies, industrial policy was used as a push-type approach to industrialization, where governments were investing in certain types of industries and sectors. It's resulted in, in uh, fiscal crises in the 80s, and it's been associated with the problem of rent-seeking, where political and economic elites in those countries have used the protection granted to certain industries uh, not to actually develop those capabilities, but live of the rents created by that uh, protection. Development economists have become again interested in industrial policy because they have recognized that development is not about specialization, it is about structural transformation and diversification of economies. What sorts of government actions or public policy actions can bring about that change from people being employed in, in uh, low productivity subsistence agriculture to other types of sectors that are more productive? How far or how close to where your current comparative advantages are should you go with public policies to push the boundaries of the technological upgrading? It's very difficult to distinguish between good and bad industrial policy because it depends on what specific countries have done in, in particular context and where they were starting from. An example where successful industrial policy is identified is the example of some of the East Asian countries that have achieved very successful economic growth in the post-Second World War period until now. And so one is looking at the sorts of policies that they were pursuing and how they were able to take privileges away from industries that didn't deliver when they were granted preferential treatment. One of the conclusions of the old type of industrial policy was to say governments are bad at picking winners but losers are good at picking governments. The modern industrial policy approach says, well, just the fact that it's risky to pick winners doesn't mean that we shouldn't be picking some sort of winners, but it is really a process of collaboration and coordination of ones within, across different types of ministries and with the private sector to learn from each other and to uh, essentially take the risk to, to test different things and be able to correct your course of action if the expected results are not forthcoming.